Jeff again. Good to see you again. How are you, sir? I'm fine. It's always I'm always in a good mood when I see you. Oh, well, Such thanks. pleasant company. Well, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Do you uh, do you want to hang out sometime? Yeah, let's hang out. Let's yeah. do it. Do you have a lot of free time? I don't got the have kids and the wife and the I, you know, career? that's why I tour is so I can get away from my family. Yeah. <laughs> How long have you been a tour? I've been a touring stand up. I have been doing it for 2,800 years. Oh. No, yeah. I've been doing it 28 years. Yeah, I never, I never did the stand-up, but there's a lot of camaraderie between stand-ups. People out there, there is. Do, did Absolutely. you see Michelle Wolf's stuff at the I Correspondence Center? I did. What did you? And, um, a lot of controversy. You a know, lot of controversy. Look, from a craft standpoint, yeah. it was great. That's an impossible task, particularly with a president that. You know, there's a different scandal every day, a different lawyer and stuff like that. So the what passionate feelings on both what sides. What she accomplished as a comedian was really impressive because mm -hmm. there are great shows like this and numerous other ones that I won't yeah. say that deal with this on a nightly basis. So it, it's pretty impressive. I mean, I, you know, I didn't want to do it. I was but asked, you were. I was approached, but For this some year. of it's, yeah, well, some of it's, uh, yeah, but some of it's, it's not my wheelhouse, but I do think it's strange because we knew that like half the country was going to be angry. But I think what's surprising for me is the people on the other half, you know, a small group that were upset with her performance that kind of surprises me. I mean, you've done it before. Yeah, yeah, I did it. Well, yeah. I, I did it 12 years ago and they ain't never asking me back. You know. <laughs> yeah. But it is, it's strange. You ask a comedian to perform at a thing called the White House Correspondents' Dinner, they're going to take their point of view and they're going to go after the White House and the correspondents. And right. that's and what And everybody she did. acts shocked, shocked. Right. That a comedian would go in there and do jokes about uh, the people in power. It's, it's strange. It's, you know, it's, it's not, again, it's not my wheelhouse, but I feel like we're getting more and more um, sensitive as a country like, I think almost the, if that was a year ago, I don't know if people would have been freaking out. It's like, I even see it, you know, I don't really discuss Trump in my stand-up, but when I do shows, even a reference, I'll see the audience, whether they're Trump supporters or not, they'll kind of look at the ceiling like, we don't want to talk about it, or we don't want to talk about it. Now, your show, because... Wait, Kate, but you come to your show, is that I want to hear you complain about onions. They do. But in your show, what I love about your show and what I love about your stuff, and I, I like watch, I, I listen, watching and listening to it with my, my whole family, because it's a, it's a you, you're capturing the entire human experience, which is mostly like your relationship with other people and, and yeah. your, your kids and your family and food. Yes, food. Food. food I deal with the hard-hitting, uh, you know, topics. And you're clean is another thing. I'm clean. Well, that's <laughs> bullshit. But... <laughs> No, I am, uh... You are clean. It's, you know, it's strange. Yes, of course I am clean, but Are you clean it's... in your daily life? Like, are you, no. like, no potty mouth? Or is I'm it just... Horrible... Or is your shtick being a nice guy? I'm a horrible person. <laughs> uh, but... Now, wait a second. Are you actually a horrible person, or are you one of those nice people who is nice because they're constantly accusing themselves of being horrible? If you know what I mean. Catholic is a word for that. Catholic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I live, in a, accusing themselves. I live in a pool of guilt, yes. <laughs> but I would say that, you know, I am somebody who can be improving all the time. But, you know, my stand-up, I think comedians do what they do, and then they get criticism or credit for it afterwards. So it's like, you know, Chris Rock is going to do Chris Rock, or Louis Black's going to do Louis Black, or Michelle Wolf is going to do Michelle Wolf. There's not some grand scam of like, oh, I'm going to say the most outrageous thing or I'm going to talk about food. It's like we just do what we do and then we get credit or criticism. But one strange thing, I don't know, it's strange to me, but it, it, it might strike you as odd, is that you are a professional comedian, man of the world, and yet what you go out and do on stage is cleaner often than when the president says. <laughs> Like, you, you, there, yeah. there, there are dirtier jokes attributed to the president yes, than there are to Jim Gaffigan. It is, you know, that is, I, that is true. Yeah. <laughs> it's like finding out that you're older than the president or right. something. You're more mature than the president of the and United I, States. Well, I'm, I mean, I'm, maybe I'm fatter than him, too. I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah. There's, a lo there's just a lot to love, Jim. There's a lot to love. Yeah. It is weird because I think as a comedian, whether it be me or you or Michelle Wolf. I think what people don't realize is comedians are just looking for the adjective of funny. So it's like, I, you know, I understand that 
maybe my comedy is clean, but it's people that are coming to the show are not saying they're going, I need to not hear someone curse for an hour. They're coming to hopefully hear funny comedy. And not curse for an hour. And not curse for an well, hour. Well, if they're looking for the funny, they're in luck because uh -oh. look at my segue. There you go. Right here. Do you have a, a, new, uh, a new album coming out? It's coming out. It's called Jim Gaffigan, Noble Ape. Noble Ape. Now, is there a video component to this? Is there a There I, is. I, I yes, it's an this? album. And it's, Where can I see this? It's going to be everywhere July 13th. You, oh, we're getting just in time. We're getting you on rest. just in time. Just in time. Well, the July on, 13th release. Thank it's you on pre-order now. It's on pre-order? Pre-order now. Let's make this thing go platinum on pre-order. There you go. There Brian. it is. Now, I like that you have you have a Van Gogh portrait yes. of yourself right here. It's a little bit. I actually painted this myself. You're very talented. No, I didn't. I didn't. Barry the art guy. That's actually what he goes by. Barry the art guy? <laughs> That's his His name website. is not Barry the this, art guy. His, he's Barry Blankenship. He's going to love this. You're, but you're, you're he's Jim a the Jokeman. <laughs> Jim the Jokeman. But he's an amazing artist, right? Yeah. And so uh, that was... I just thought, you know, we started with an image, and then I was like, all right, let's go full Van Gogh. Now, um, uh, you, let me see. Yes. Both ears. Just checking. Both ears. Just checking. <laughs> now, this is co-written uh, with your lovely yes. wife. Tell your yes. wife's name again. Jeannie. Jeannie, love it, Jeannie. Last time you were here, she had just, she was just recovering from a benign brain tumor. I assume she's, yes. she's doing well. She's doing great, thank you. Yeah, she is. Well, oh, thank you. <laughs> you know... I mean, that being said, you can't... I mean, she had a tumor the size of a pear in her head. So, like, you can't have that removed and, you know, go, to, go and bungee jumping. You know, so there is some progress really? back. can't bungee jump? <laughs> you can't bungee jump. Like, that's what she was dying to do. But, so, but she's pretty amazing. Like, her 80% is, like, me on my, you know, most active day. Like, mm -hmm. I go to a parent-teacher conference and I need to take a day off, you know? <laughs> I, uh, but she was, it, it's, it's amazing. It's an amazing, uh, it's truly a miracle. You know, there was, she was in surgery for 10 hours, and before wow. the surgery, the surgeon told me, he goes, halfway through, I'll probably stop and get lunch. And I was like, I, I don't need to know that, you know? Like, was he afraid I was going to run into him in the cafeteria? And I was like, what are you doing here? But he was an amazing surgeon, uh, brain surgeon, Joshua Betterson, and he, you know, we found out later on that he's one of the best brain surgeons. I don't know how they determine the best brain surgeon. Maybe there's a competition. You know, America's got tumors. You know, and Heidi Klum thought he was the best. But it, he wow. was, he was amazing. Wow. Can you imagine if somebody was like, he's a brain surgeon? Yeah, but he's the worst brain surgeon. Right. Well, you know, it's, there's a certain level of pressure that a brain surgeon must exist with that we wouldn't... Like, at no point during uh, their day can they turn and, to someone and go, hey, it ain't brain surgery. Because <laughs> it's always brain surgery. Yeah. Jim, lovely to see you again. Thanks Thank so you much, so buddy. much for being Thanks here. You. Always good to see Jim Gaffigan. The stand-up special, Noble Ape, is out July 13th. But order it now. They only made so many. Get it now. Jim Gaffigan. We'll be right back with Michael Avenatti.